Hi guys, Dr. Sandra Lee here. You guys also know me as Dr. Pimple Popper. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about keratosis pilaris. Keratosis pilaris are those bumps that you may have yourself or you may have a friend or a family member that have them on your arms. That is the most common area to have this. You can also get them on the front of your thighs and in particular in children and younger people, you can get them across your cheeks. It's just a condition where your hair follicles are kind of accentuated. They're kind of sticking up a little bit and there's a base of redness around them. And sometimes those areas are also a little bit blotchy in color. Maybe there's a little bit more redness in the area some people call it chicken skin or they might say it's really bumpy and people don't like the appearance of it. Keratosis pilaris is not harmful, it's not life-threatening. It's actually very common in people who have more dry skin and are more prone to skin conditions like atopic dermatitis. They usually don't itch, they usually don't bother people, people just don't like the appearance of them. Well, you can't cure it. Some people just have it and it tends to maybe run in families or if you, you have it when you're a youngster, you kind of have it for life. I mean, sometimes it kind of burns out a little bit and it's less, less visible as you get older. It is not something that you should worry about, but if you do have it, I can give you tips on how to best minimize the appearance of it. The redness can be improved with various things, such as even a little over-the-counter steroid, especially if you have some big event to go to and you want it to be less red, that can help to minimize the redness. Dermatologists can do things in their office. They can treat the area with a V-beam or a pulse dye laser, which can help to minimize some of the redness there. The bumpiness, though, is also what really bothers people. So we usually recommend keratolytic agents which are usually like chemical peel ingredients, you know, something to kind of smooth the skin out. Also, I really like the Clarisonic brush in this condition. Actually, there is a special KP attachment, it's called keratosis pilaris attachment, a special brush that can be used to help to smooth the skin out more. Also, we prescribe topical retinoids, like Retin-A, to help with that because that is also a keratolytic, meaning that it helps to encourage exfoliation of the skin. Other tips I have is self-tanner. That can help maybe to disguise the appearance of it. So all of these things can help to improve the feel of it and the look of it, but it is very hard to get rid of this completely. But don't worry about it. I know it's something that really might bother a lot of you guys. There's a lot of people that have this and it's not anything to worry about. There are ways to help to hide it as best as you can. So there you have it. That's all about keratosis pilaris. I hope I answered some of your questions. It's all for the positive. There are wonderful things you can do to help to hide this condition. Thank you for watching another edition of Dr. Pimple Popper University. If you have any suggestions or you have any questions of your own, please add them to the comments. I'd love to take a look at them and I'll try to answer any questions that we get, okay? Thank you again. <laughs>